There is a YouTube channel that got 3,500 copyright claims, which I'm pretty sure sets a world record on YouTube. Like we, I've <laughs> went over channels that got 150 copyright claims, some crazy numbers there, but 3,500. Look at this screenshot here. This isn't all of it, of course. Copyright claim after copyright claim, but why? What happened here? Well, it happened on this channel, Gilva Sunner, who has around 500,000 subscribers and they upload a lot of soundtrack. So it's obviously copyrighted material. And they put this on Twitter, game over, a bunch of claims. And then, you know, going through more tweets by them. Oh, another one. <laughs> this is one screenshot, another screenshot, another one another one like it's crazy there's so many copyright claims but why it, well if you read the tweets you could see they're getting claimed for various properties owned by nintendo over 1300 copyright blocks on youtube okay there's some zelda there's some super smash bros yoshi island super mario land super mario galaxy super mario world bro super mario world i love that game and now all the soundtracks uploaded to youtube are gone because it was copyright claimed, which it, it sucks because a lot of people would go to YouTube and listen to the, the old soundtracks by Nintendo. And you can see there's a playlist here of it still existing. This probably will get claimed and blocked eventually. Um, so it sucks that all this music's now gone on YouTube. 3,500 videos and probably more in the future. It's crazy. Now, Nintendo owns all this music, so they, like, they're allowed to do this. Uh, this is one of those rare cases on YouTube where it's not actually copyright abuse, but is, is legitimate. Like, you, <laughs> Nintendo is allowed to do this because they own the music. You know, it's like if someone were to upload I don't know, any music by any artist, of course they're gonna get copyright claimed. But you see, the thing is, the case is kind of different here because there's no other way to listen to all these soundtracks unless you get your your old console out and play the game to hear it. Like, Nintendo doesn't have the soundtracks uploaded anywhere, which really sucks. Which, of course, they don't have to do it either. Like, the claims are still valid. It just sucks that there's no other place to listen to the music. And Gilva Sunner obviously has had a lot of videos like this, like... <laughs> It's crazy, 3,500 videos. Hi everyone, after the 1,300 copyright blocks from Nintendo a few days ago, they received another 2,200 the next day. So there's a lot. Now I do wanna say that copyright claims and copyright strikes are different. So the channel obviously got 15, no, not 1,500, 3,500 claims, but still on YouTube, obviously, you can still see the channel. Now the difference between a copyright claim and a block is that the person who claimed the video can have a few options. So if you claim a video, you can get ad revenue or you can block the video in various countries. And obviously Nintendo has decided to block the video pretty much everywhere. So all these songs, these re-upload soundtrack songs, they're all blocked. Now a copyright strike, if you get three of those, your channel gets terminated. So like <laughs> 3,500, if they were all strikes, the channel would be completely gone. And I'm so they kind of dodged a bullet there, but I, looking at tweets, it appears that they don't want to be on YouTube after this. Now there is a lot of speculation online about whether or not these claims are real or not. Like there's this big thread here on Twitter about how Nintendo usually puts Nintendo of America instead of just Nintendo or Nintendo JP and how there's been like fraud fake Nintendo claims in the past before and so I was almost gonna change this whole video until I realized YouTube actually spoke about this team YouTube said that these claims on this channel are legitimately from Nintendo so yeah these claims are real and I guess justified now I never actually knew the name of the youtuber but I would listen to these uh, old soundtracks a lot like look at this Super Nintendo yeah it's a bit yellowed but that's just how these consoles they just for some reason yellow over time. I don't know to worry I have a pristine one in my closet. Okay, so my favorite one of my favorite games Super Mario World on this on this console all the soundtrack is on YouTube You see a lot of it right here, but now a lot of it is gone and I believe was uploaded by this user so it really sucks because a lot of these games I grew up with they're classics I also got the old the old old one here <laughs> with uh oh yeah super mario right in there already pretty good i didn't like that one as much it, it wasn't as fun to me but you see nintendo kind of doesn't like copyright so if you go to nintendo's copyright page it's all just a bunch of crap you know a lot of video game companies really uh they they embrace people playing their games and stuff but nintendo is like one of the few <sighs> companies on youtube that don't like people using their stuff without permission so if you were to just play a game, I'm not even sure if you were to just play a, one of these old games on YouTube, you might get a claim. 
I'm pretty sure you would. It's crazy. Like, uh, I don't know. I From what I hear, it's gotten better over the years, but <laughs> Nintendo is just one of those few companies who don't want anyone playing any of their games. There's this sort of like interesting relationship between gamers on YouTube and game companies because YouTubers playing the games, they give like free promotion. So it's sort of like this community that, that feeds each other, you know what I mean? Like a symbiote from Spider-Man. They both benefit, so they don't care about copyright, but Nintendo for some reason is one of the exceptions. I think you gotta get permission to play their games or something. I don't know, some crazy crap like that. So yeah, it sucks to see this, but hey, cool YouTube record, right? It just sucks though. So yeah, if you enjoyed that and wanna see more, click subscribe, as well as please subscribe to Techno Bros and Coke Man, cause they're both pretty epic channels. And that's it for me in this video. Thank you for watching, and of course, fly on.